Greetings, hello, and hi. My name is Drew. I'm here at the Goulet Pen Company with you to talk about the Custom 74 by Pilot in green. This is the first green Custom 74, which you probably have heard of. The Custom 74 is a very popular pen in the Pilot line and one of the most popular overall uh, next level pens or first gold nib pens in Pilot anyway. Uh, this guy is probably competing right there with a the vanishing point as far as entry level gold nib pens, entry level next level pens. It's a really reliable pen that a lot of people think very highly of. And this green one is new and it's very lovely. So right away, I'm seeing more of an emerald color than a forest green color, which I believe is what they're calling it. But either way, it is really nice. It's a demonstrator, so you can see what's going on on the inside there. And like the other demonstrator Custom 74s, it has a smoke colored set of finials here on the top and bottom. So it's not 100% green. So if you're a matchy matchy person with your ink and your pens, you can still use black and not feel bad about it. <laughs> but you could also pair it with a nice emerald as well. Um, Diamine Emerald is one of my personal favorites. And there we have the nib, which you've seen on other Custom 74s, as well as uh, a couple other pens. Uh, Pilot uses a couple different nib sizes across a few models, but uh, this is a, kind of one of their mid size one. It's not the biggest one they have, it's not the smallest one they have. And it does post. The balance is nice. It's not the most lightweight um, demonstrator, which I appreciate because for a resin pen, you want to feel weight. Well, I don't know. It depends. A lot of folks do equate quality with weight, and the hardware here and the uh, density of the material does give it some weight, if that is important to you. doesn't mean that light equals not quality, but um, some people do appreciate that, and I do as well. Inside, one of the reasons for the weight is because it's got this big honking converter in here. This is the Con 70 converter. And this is actually a newer Con70 converter. They've made some slight alterations here with this current generation of Con70. It's a, uh, a very interesting pump style converter that pumps ink directly into the reservoir via a vacuum element, not necessarily a piston. So um, you'll see that there's a few changes. These um, ridges here are new. Those weren't there before. I don't know what purpose they serve, but they're new. And the uh, the metal agitator here is a slightly different design as well. I feel like it also pumps a little bit easier uh, in my experience. And you've got these interesting facets there, which I don't know if they serve a purpose either, but they're there. There's no inherent difference and um, it's not going to perform any differently. The capacity is also going to be the same. One thing I'll also say about the Custom 74 demonstrator is that sometimes if you happen to already own one of these or have used one in the past, Sometimes if you're filling using the nib and a uh, converter in here, you might get a little bit of ink in the grip section because there is a uh, separate housing between the outer grip section and the feed. So sometimes ink can kind of get in between there. That is totally normal. If it were an opaque material, you wouldn't even notice, but it can happen. And what uh, I would recommend if you don't like that at all, if it really bothers you, you can always use a syringe to just manually fill the cartridge or the converter in this case. So yeah, felt like a might be worth mentioning there. This is also really cool. Um, sorry about the focus folks. Um, the O-ring here is a nice addition. I always like to see O-rings right there on the grip section where the barrel screws in because it gives you a nice purchase there. When you screw it in, you make sure that you don't over tighten it because you feel that O-ring friction. You're like, ah, there we go. Come on, focus. You know exactly when you've reached the point uh, where you're going to get a nice tight seal. So this thing works just fine, posted or unposted. It's got that classic pilot clip and beautiful hardware. And it's a rhodium plated gold nib, cartridge converter. And if you want to know more, you can check out our product page at GoulayPens.com. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's a beautiful, beautiful pen. Check this out, as well as some of the other Custom 74 colors. You can't really go wrong with this um, or any pilot pen. They're all really nice. Anyway, thank you. Have a great day. Right on.